I literally got food on my face. <laughs> crazy I know I sound crazy but I don't feel well and today's my birthday <laughs> I don't feel well I literally um <clears throat> for the last two weeks I've been having bad sinus pressure and I know usually that means for me that I have a sinus infection I just since I've been out in LA I just get really bad sinus issues um so I'm actually gonna go get a facial for my birthday today. And then I'm gonna go to my doctor because they don't have an appointment until later on today to make sure I'm good. Cause I just, I know it's a sinus infection because nothing is bothering me besides from the neck up. I just feel like I'm just, in the cloud, my head felt like it's in the cloud. Um, <clears throat> I have like the itching and stuff like that. And my nose and my throat is just itching, itching, itching. I feel the congestion. I feel like my face is just bad pressure here. And my eyes, I got this like headache. My ears are like tingling. So yeah, um, I'm about to get ready. I'm gonna go walk Obama. And then I'm gonna go to get my facial so you guys can come along with me there. Hey y'all, so I'm just now arriving to the facial place. Um, I'm feeling better than I was feeling this morning. I'm still going to go to the um, doctor because I just want to make sure that I have the medicine that I need. And I still got a bit of a headache, but yeah, I'm just arriving. living my best life now. I was, everyone's like, why didn't you come back today? And I'm just like, because for me, my theory is, why should people have to travel on their birthday? Mm -hmm. Like, right. traveling is not exciting. Unless someone's doing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> doing the driving. Like if I'm, yeah. But I'm like, I don't want to travel on my birthday. You spend half your day trying to get to where you're going. <laughs> it's just not a thing for me. Fine. Probably it isn't any worse than probably what I'd be doing with my long nails <laughs> digging deep and I'm like, ah and then I see like the nail print left on my face and I was like, uh oh Bessie, you got a little carried away there. <laughs> it happens. I'm just like these blackheads like is it literally for the ones that's there, is it literally that you have to get them extracted in order for them to like come out? Yeah, it's usually best to just have a professional get it. Um, and you know, like the steam kind of can help with that too. Okay. So it, it makes it a little easier. I have used the, you know, there is this one mask that does pull some of them out. The, um, which one? The ba Bosia from so Sephora? Bossia, B O S C I A. Oh, yes. The black I've one. Heard of it. Baby, let me tell you. Yeah. You put that on and you let, and it's like, it feels like rubber, right? Well, it's cream, and then when it dries, it feels like rubber. And when you pull it, honey, you, and they always say avoid your eyebrows, please do. Oh. Because pieces <laughs> of hairs, honey, you be like looking at it and you see like the like blackheads like standing up really, on the mask. Oh. So that out of any mask I've ever done. It, it will out. get you together. It's a little pricey, but get the little travel size. There's a travel size that comes with the black one, and then it comes with like two of the other ones. Oh. But the black one is, yeah, get the little sample size. That's how you get to try it out. I will try it. I love trying masks out, so mm -hmm. I'll always. Oh, that black one will, honey. <laughs> it will get them black heads. 
Oh, glow it, girl. Y'all, I got a Caesar salad on my face. <laughs> it smells like a mmm. -mm. Minty Caesar. <laughs> Minty Caesar. <laughs> yeah, I mixed a little clay mask in it, and the eucalyptus in that has some just elements. Mm. <laughs> e. <laughs> It's something interesting. <laughs> and I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> I almost want to be like. No, you. <laughs> I don't know what this one. <laughs> <laughs> what they say when, you, when they tell you don't keep your leftovers on your face and stuff when you got food on your face. I literally got food on my face. <laughs> the mask a little but like you said they're very icy uh oh 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 wow. <laughs> this is cool but it feels so good Look at that. Guys, I guess that concludes my birthday. Um, I'm just leaving the Cheesecake Factory, which is my actual favorite restaurant. Um, and my favorite dessert is cheesecake. So, always love going there. I did go to the doctor. She did suspect that it's um, most likely a sinus infection. Um, but she just gave me like some antibiotic, antibiotics, you know, to kind of prepare me for if that's what it is. And some Sudafed and all this stuff. Um, and guys, I am so like, I literally started crying because I was sitting next to this lady that was eating with her daughter, her young daughter. She looked like she was underneath 10. And I guess they noticed my little tiara says happy birthday, so. I guess she asked her mom if they could gift me a cheesecake, like a slice of cheesecake for my birthday. And so at the end of my meal, they came up with like the free ice cream that they give at Cheesecake Factory. And then they come with this cheesecake and I was like, Cheesecake Factory never gave away a slice of cheesecake. And they're like, it's from the lady right there with her daughter. Oh my God, guys, I literally started crying. I'll post the photo. Well, anyways, I could probably post it, put a little thing over her face, but that would be it. Cause you know, I, I didn't get permission to like post her face or anything, but it literally made me cry. It made me cry because people don't exude nice gestures anymore. And it doesn't have to be 
just money or gifts or nothing but just people are not always kind so anyways i had a good birthday i had a great birthday weekend and now i am just i'm i'm ready to go to the house and just kind of relax and chill and get ready for work because you know it is monday and i would have had today to work if i didn't take the day off so i had a great time and I think this is gonna conclude the vlog, guys. I think this is gonna conclude the vlog. So I'm gonna close it out here. And thank you for tuning in as always. Love you. Bye.